You see, the hardest thing about flow is how to find it. Hmm. What's up, back again on the Wholesaling Business Blueprint series. Let's talk about flow. What does that even mean, okay? Uh, if we're wholesaling and we're actually doing it, right, and we just got started maybe, you know, a year ago, a few months ago or whatnot, you're more than likely going to have uh, peaks and then valleys, if not even craters, right? Meaning that you have emotional highs, business highs, where you get a lot of results, a lot of good, uh, you know, movement, and then you have, uh, you know, this track that you tap into and, and you're just getting shit done, right? And then all of a sudden something breaks, something happens, you maybe can't put your finger on it uh, and it just kind of falls apart. And then you have dry valleys. You have, you know, periods of drought where you have no deals coming in. Uh, you don't know what's going on. Maybe your lead generation or your marketing gets a little harder and you just stop flowing, okay? So why the hell does that happen? Why do we have, you know, periods of flow and then periods of drought where uh, we don't have that consistency? Even though we might be figuring things out, um, you know, every single day as we're doing this wholesaling thing, why does that happen? Why do deals come and, or stop and go like if it was a, a stoplight, you know, it doesn't make sense, right? Well, first off, flow is the smooth or even movement in something, okay? Rivers have flow, life has flow, uh, emotions have flow, right? Uh, smooth and even movement. That's, that's really what it comes down to. Now, if you think of flow, and you probably heard the phrase, you know, being said, you know, over and over again, you know, oh, I'm, I feel like I'm in flow. I feel like I'm getting things done. I feel like, you know, now things are really going my way. And you probably also heard it on the opposite side of things where, okay, I was flowing so well and now I don't know what happened. I just don't have the same results that I was having two, three months ago. Uh, again, the, uh, the idea of flow or being in a state of flow, it's optimal performance, okay? It's you're doing well, you feel you're doing great, you're in that good mental space, your business is being profitable, your results are showing, uh, your team is doing their thing if you have a team in place, and collectively, um, you guys find this space of performance uh, where everything just kind of connects, right? Everything, you know, clicks and, and the results are showing. Now, let me make this clear. Now, it, it, when you're in that state, when your your team is performing or your company is performing or you as a solopreneur are performing, uh, it doesn't mean that it's all, you know, um, home runs, okay? It doesn't mean that. It, it means that you're in a steady uh, flow, okay? There's no, there's no peaks, there's no valleys. You're just being steady and consistent with everything that you're doing. Now the results are coming in almost in a predictable manner, okay? So consistency and predictability is really what clicks in uh, when you're in a state of flow. So now the challenge comes in finding that state of flow within your wholesaling business, okay? I'm gonna make this very, very clear. You can't have flow in a business especially in a wholesaling business where everything is so dynamic and things move around so uh, so often uh, without having a uh, system in place without having a system and processes in place that you can delegate automate and elevate from or that you can follow yourself if you're a solo operation okay even if you are just a one-man show uh, or one woman show uh, in your wholesaling business you still have to have a lineup of processes. You got to have a system in place that can bring you back to those flow activities, okay? When you have a system in place, you're going to define uh, the flow activities. You're going to define the stuff that you need to be doing on a day-to-day -to, -day to put you in that state of flow. Figuring out what those things are is going to be one of the hardest things. However, we already have it lined up, okay? So there's another video that I recorded on the Wholesaling Business Blueprint. The whole process, you can go back to that video. The link's going to be below. Uh, or you can go to reiwholesaling.com and download an actual business blueprint, all right? Now, the importance of having a blueprint in place is... Um, it's to understand what are the flow activities, okay? What are the activities that we actually need to focus on to create that state of flow, okay? To create that consistency and that predictability in the business. It doesn't mean that you're always gonna be performing and having you know, every single deal that comes across be a six-digit uh, deal, 
It may not be that, right? Or, but you're also not going to have those dry sprouts. So you're operating at a smooth and even uh, pace. Okay, that's, that's what it's all about. That's what being in a state of flow is. Especially if you're trying to take that across, you know, a few people who might be working under your company. Okay, so creating that state of flow as a business can be a lot more challenging than creating it as an individual. Now, if you have a system in place, if you have processes and stuff that people can follow, uh, it's going to be a lot easier to create that state of flow. All right. Flow is what gives you the consistency that you need to actually have revenue coming in every single month, okay? Uh, so you don't have those peaks where you do really, really good one month and then you're dry out for three months uh, and then all the profits just kind of went away during that period of time and then you have that, uh, you know, big up and down. And I, I know you know what I'm talking about. Don't play like you don't. Uh, I know, I know. I'm looking at you. Yes, you. Yeah, that one. Okay. So, sorry. Um, but uh, I'm very passionate about this. There is a critical thing to understand here, and that's that without any systems in place, there's no freedom, okay? The freedom is in the systems. Now, when you have that and you, they're dialed in and your whole team is connected, or you have a clear understanding of what you need to be doing and you actually come in and execute, you have a state of flow. So this is the other side of the coin, all right? You may have freedom if you have a company, but is that company in a state of flow? Are you actually uh, identifying the flow um, activities that you need to identify for your people to do? And then focusing on coming in and improving those, okay? So, um, very, very important to understand. You can't have flow in a business or you can't have flow as a uh, solopreneur if you don't have a blueprint, a systematic approach to doing things. The bottom line is if there's no process, there's no flow because you're always figuring things out and you're slowing down to figure things out, okay? You can't have that smooth pace if you always have uh, road barriers um, as you're trying to figure things out. And what a good system does is that it smooths uh, everything out for you. So uh, flow is consistency and predictability in the business. So what do you need to focus on? All right. Uh, and like I said, I recorded a whole video on the blueprint of a wholesaling business. But at the end of the day, it comes down to sourcing, uh, converting, pre-qualifying, uh, acquisitions process, dispositions process, measuring, make sure that you measure the stuff that you're doing. All right. And then coming in and improving those um um, those actions based off of what you measured. When you break things down, and this is the example for wholesaling, right? But when you break things down like that, you have an understanding of what's coming. You have a degree of predictability, okay? And you also have an understanding of what needs to be done for you to create that consistency, for you to not drop the ball in terms of marketing, in terms of uh, bottlenecking maybe leads that are coming in uh, and you know losing money because you're just not talking to everybody you need to talk to and negotiating all the deals that you need to negotiate uh, because you have a bottleneck in the business or somewhere somehow leads are falling through the cracks, right? So having a good solid system in place is gonna give you that state of flow. The reason this came up is because I had a really, really um, a deep conversation with one of my students uh, and the whole premise of this conversation was flow, flow, flow. I feel like I'm starting all over again every, you know, every three months. Every three months I get to this point where I'm, uh, you know, I, I'm generating really good revenue, then it dries out and then, you know, what happens? I, I am, I'm trying to, you know, take all the actions. I'm trying to do this and trying to do all that. And the key word here was trying, okay? It, he was trying uh, to, um, to create this consistency in the business. However, the flow is being stopped by some random activities that were happening on the um, lead generation side. So on the sourcing part. Now, again, we, we're able to identify stuff like that when we have a system in place, when you have a process, uh, when we have accountability, okay? We are able to come back and then see uh, where the smooth um, areas are not so smooth and where we're having bottlenecks. You can't have flow in your business and uh, be in this steady, progressive pace moving forward and up uh, if you don't have a blueprint, if you don't have something to follow, especially if you have a team in place uh, and they have no idea what's to come, okay? They they maybe have some vague notion of what the actions need to be done, but there's no accountability. Um, there's no um, set... Um, there's no set tasks that need to be done on a regular basis. There's no clarity on, on what the flow activities are. Uh, it's going to stop you there in your tracks and it's not going to give you that state of flow that you're looking for. And again, flow uh, transfers in wholesaling transfers to consistency and predictability. Okay, when you have consistency and you have predictability in a business, uh, you feel like you're in a state of flow because you know what's coming again. So um, understand that, uh, you know, flow, at least in a, a very pragmatic way, when you're running the business, doesn't always come from, you know, the mindset. 
doesn't always come from, from within. You may be operating in a state of flow, but again, what are your results showing you, okay? Uh, are you having hiccups? Is, are things getting bogged down? Are you being a bottleneck? Um, is there enough clarity in the actions that you have to take in the flow actions that you have to take on a regular basis? And are those being handled the way they're supposed to be handled? So get out of that mindset of always having to figure things out and start being adamant about documenting your processes and your systems if you haven't done so yet, okay? Uh, you can always cut the learning curve. If you want help with that, go to reiwholesaling.com, uh, download a PDF that's gonna give you the blueprint of um, the, uh, the wholesaling business blueprint and gives you the breakdown of the stuff that you need to focus on and track, okay? So that's one way. Uh, another way is for you just sit down and write down everything that you're doing. Take inventory of all the actions that you're taking uh, and that are giving you results. Uh, when you do that, fine tune them, turn them into protocols, and now you have something to follow, okay? At the end of the day, um, it's really gonna come down to this. It's gonna come down to the way that you do business as an individual and how can you explode that uh, within your company so people can follow on that track, okay? Uh, document your process, document your systems, create that state of flow. It's not gonna happen by itself. Stay focused, you got this.